what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it is a beautiful day today it's about 72 73 degrees real windy but i'm wearing a short sleeve shirt comfortable out here on the ranger uh it is amazing next week it's looking to be a little more cold and nasty so we're trying to get a few things done today um the shop lot i showed you when it was snowy and melting was super nasty uh, so it's dried out now and Pawpaw's going to try to get the dirt pen in there and grade some gravel out, get some new gravel delivered so we can work on that lot without it being so nasty and muddy. Um, so I gave him a camera. Hopefully he's going to explain some of that and show you how that works and what he's doing. I'm going to go look at it and show you a little bit. Um, also, Dad set out the crawfish traps the other day. We had a video about that and he's busy today, but I think I'm going to run down there and check them, see if we got anything in there. Uh, we checked them a couple days ago and didn't have anything so we're gonna we're gonna see what we got hopefully we got something since it's warm and pretty and um, maybe we'll maybe we'll get something caught in those traps before it gets nasty and cold again so here we go So as you can see, we're working on the lot out here trying to get some gravel spread out. We had, I believe, two or three loads of gravel delivered the other day. Now he's taking that dirt pan and scraping it down, spreading it out. We're definitely going to have to have some more gravel delivered. And uh, get it all smoothed out so that maybe when it rains, which is in the forecast, we... Um, we can get some stuff in the shop without it getting everything too muddy. There's a GPS base station right there hooked up to a battery and that is doing some complicated stuff that I don't know how to explain but it's uh, communicating with different satellites and stuff and then there's a little dish on top of that pan he's got there that's uh, reading all of the information it's sending in it's telling that bucket whether to go up or down to spread it all out there's that dish right up there on top so as he's going along and he's picking that gravel up that um, bucket's going up and down automatically so that it's making everything completely flat and level so as he spreads it all out when he gets done, it should be fairly even and level. He's making big wide circles over those humped up areas over there and it's, it's grading them off and flattening everything out and taking some gravel with it. Like I said, we'll have to get some more gravel because we obviously don't have enough fresh gravel over there to cover this whole lot. We need to make it where when we drive up here and pull equipment up into the shop, pull stuff around, we're not getting mud everywhere because that's why the shop's always dirty. That's why the, the concrete around the shop's always dirty. And it doesn't help that the shop is way too low and not built up high enough, but that is one of the biggest problems we have. What do you think? Well, I hope I got it right. I ain't got the slope backward. You need a whole lot more gravel, don't you? <laughs> like 10 times. It looks good. You can see like when it would go over that big hump, it would just flatten right off everything else. Doesn't look as good from the ground as it does from the tractor. Never does. Yeah. I'm waiting on it to cycle down so I can shut it out. The blade's uneven. Yeah, it's just it's old. It'll do good enough, I think. Hmm. Alright, so Dad and I checked these crawfish traps just a couple days ago after he set them. In fact it was the day after he set them and uh, they didn't have anything in them I may put that footage in here in this video 
Um, but it's warmed up significantly since then and it's been sunny and pretty and around 70 degrees for the past three or four days and over the weekend was really nice. So I'm hoping that maybe that woke up the crawfish in here and uh, that we'll see some crawfish in these traps when I go check them. But if it didn't, I'm not really sure what to think. We don't really know what we're doing, but if you're not catching crawfish in, you know, seven traps out here, then you're probably not going to catch very many with 300 traps out here. So we're just kind of testing the waters and see what we got. So I'm going to throw my waders on and run out here and see what we got and I'll let you see it, check it out. And uh, you can learn with us because we don't know. Here we go. Okay, Dad, so you set these traps yesterday. You got that on film, hopefully, and... Uh, set them right after lunch yesterday, about 1 o'clock. They've been soaking for, I don't know, over 24 hours now. Can we tell everybody what we're doing here, right? Yeah, I think I explained that pretty well. But you made it clear that we don't know what we're doing still? Yeah, we don't know what we're doing, and that this is just a test run. Don't have enough traps out here to sell any crawfish or you know, even eat any for ourselves. This is just a, trying to see what we have. We got eight traps out here baited up, eight of these around just in the corner of this field. And all I need to do is just pull them up and see what's what's in them from overnight. And that would be a zero. Absolutely nothing. So, that's not a good sign. Nothing. Yeah, we're 0 for 6. Not good. But you can't figure it out if you don't gather your information, right? That's right. I think it warms up some more. Take some water. The water's here. cold. It was frozen two weeks ago, so. Well, that's the reason it's so deep. Just trying to keep it deep, stabilize the temperature down there. I talked about that a little bit yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it didn't get cold enough down on the bottom to hurt them, but. But there was probably four inches of ice on this water. So, so it was it was really cold. And, and it's still, it was 36 this morning when I woke up. So, um, yeah, there was a little. You know, frost. it's still taking it a while to get up to a good temperature. Maybe they'll wake up. Is that a, a perch. Is that a fish? Mm -hmm. That's not what we wanted to catch. Not the correct species. This is the one. This one's gonna be full. Cool. This one's gonna have 25 in it. Just kidding. something now what are you doing lucky come on come out here you can swim nope okay what are we gonna leave them out here for what two days come back and check them again it's supposed to stay decently warm supposed to be Sunshine, that water should warm up. Maybe there you go, Lucky. Good. Good job. Come out here and catch us some crawfish. Can you find them? This is a crawfish hunting dog, man. Get him. Get him, Lucky. Get him. Good boy. So I know it's kind of windy. I hope it's not hard for you to hear, but as you can see, the water's really pretty out here and there's some algae growing, which I think Dad explained in the last video is what the crawfish um, 
actually eat or what we understand that they eat from what people told us um, and we kept the water at a good depth so it didn't freeze so hopefully these crawfish didn't die out here I don't see any evidence that they did or or any reason why they would but in the most places that they, they do grow crawfish and harvest crawfish um, it's just a lot warmer year round so let's see what we got trap number one absolutely nothing it's out of bait too which could have something to do with it probably should put some bait back in them and try again but forecast is showing cold weather for the next few days anyway that one is completely empty kind of confuses me because dad had two crawfish in the traps that weren't even baited when we were here last time when he came out and baited them and uh, it had been cold and frozen then so I would think that you know if they're in the trap they weren't frozen there so I don't so I don't know why it would kill them other than that this one looks like it's falling over nothing in that one boy isn't this exciting Last one. Hey! One lonesome crawfish. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Oh, he's grabbing onto my way to my legs. Look at that. He's really ready to get out. Alright, little buddy, get out of there. Be free. There's not enough of you to sell or eat, so you get to go back. All right, we got four more, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we got something more than one, because I'm gonna guess that it's probably pretty hard to sell one crawfish, at least and make a profit anyway. All right, let's check this now. This one's still got a lot of bait in it, I can see, so maybe. Absolutely nothing. So there goes my bait theory. You'll find out watching our videos that we have lots of theories and most of them usually are wrong. That one has absolutely none. Boy, isn't this exciting. So we have some concerns with this field, the crawfish in it because um, first of all when we seeded them and uh, when the rice was growing we saw a lot of uh, birds that were well known to eat crawfish so that's kind of a red flag because you get a good flock of birds in here they can do a lot of damage in a hurry so that's one of our big concerns but maybe they wiped them out early on but one of the first times we set some traps out here, we caught about five in each one, which is um, somewhat encouraging. So it's a little confusing. I don't understand. I don't know, two more left. There's one in there. No, there's two in there. How about that? There's one, there's one, and there's also a little fish in there. Uh, we'll dump those guys out and hopefully they make more babies. Okay, three crawfish today. That's not enough, but it's a start. Go on, little fishy. It's a start. They're lively. All right, last trap. Come on, it's gonna be full. Probably not. There's one in there and another fish. Maybe we should be growing fish on this field. All 
all right everybody that's a wrap on the crawfish trap checking for today um like i said one time we came out here before the whole freeze crazy storm snow and all that we had about five in each trap when we checked them which was encouraging because for this 25 acre field they recommend like 300 traps or something so if you got five crawfish in each of 300 traps then you're doing pretty good but today we had four and i think there's seven traps out there so that's not a real good not a real good ratio um but that's more than zero when we checked them the other day so maybe they're starting to wake up maybe the the water temperature is just getting right but uh the next week the forecast looks pretty cold doesn't look so good so uh i don't know we're just gonna keep putting bait in them put them out there seeing what we get doing our best because we don't know what we're doing and uh i don't know we're just trying to learn so learn with us and if you know something that we don't please comment please call us please email us please tell us say you're doing it wrong because we might be doing it wrong who knows uh, anyway on to the next one Okay, so even though we didn't catch any crawfish today, be sure to uh, comment, like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is Farms. This is Farms. Just like. It's like the button's like right there. I guess we're going home. So even though we suck at crawfish farming, what? You can't say suck on camera. What? Because it's just, you know, might be children watching. Even though we suck at crawfish farming, like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> That's it. That's all like I got. Like, 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 comment. Uh huh. Let's go home.